All right, guys. I had a buddy of mine call me and said he had a beaver problem. So we were at their pond. Got some backup. Hunter, Fred with me again, and his girl Kelsey. And we are going to show you how we go about trapping for beaver. Super easy. Just going to use 330 Connor bears today. But we'll show you what we do. All right, so right now, what we're doing is walking around this pond, which is about half frozen and about half thawed, which kind of sucks. It's better if it's frozen. But we're walking through here looking for any slides, trails, uh, but basically looking for air bubbles under the ice that go towards the bank. So I'm gonna keep cruising around the edge of this pond. Once I find some, we will uh, show you that. But here is a slide, don't know if you can see it, right here coming up. So uh, usually I'd put a snare right there, but there's dogs in the area. So I'm just gonna try to stick with Kana bears under the water to keep the dogs out. All right, if you can see, all those are air bubbles under the water. And with all these sticks are piled up on the bank. That's a beaver hut. Pretty good trail coming right through here. If you look in here, so I try to spread. You can see them holes going up into the bank. And we actually seen a beaver come out of there when we was walking up here. So we're going to stick some 330s in here. It's been a couple hours. Though. Probably have one in a couple hours. All right, guys. So this is a 330 Kona bear. I'm going to go ahead and set it. But make sure the safeties are always on because it would not feel good. Hard. So. Go ahead and get her set. Kind of spread them triggers out a little bit. A, bigger, a beaver is big enough that they're going to hit them either way you spread them out. Now I'm going to hand this down to Fred. He's just going to stick this right in front of the hole. I like to always put my springs up. Keep the safeties on. You don't get his whole fingers in there. And then when he gets down, he's just gonna stick, stick sticks right there through the springs. And that's gonna anchor the Kona bear right there for us. So I'm gonna find him some more sticks here. One part is playing in the cold water. You want to make sure that, that trap is sturdy and will not fall over once that beaver swims through it. Once you get it good and set down in there, got your sticks and your springs, reach down and take the safety hooks off. Be very careful. So they catch you, you're going to be hurting. Also, another thing you can do is if you have it pretty deep in there, just take a stick like so and try to shove it over the top of your trap. So your 330 will be sitting here, shove it over the trap to make sure the beaver go under the stick and not over it. That way they'll go through your trap. So that's pretty simple. We're gonna catch, uh, set a couple more. And oh, that sucks. I can't get that. we'll come back here in a minute. Can't get All right, so the hut's right here. Usually there's two or three holes uh, coming in and out of 
out of these so just probably three feet from this hut is another hole right under this tree so we're just going to load up because beaver will get caught a bear shy for sure. a bear shy so the more you can catch in the first couple nights the better off you're going to be so we're going to try to catch as many as we can the first night again go ahead and get her set spread your wires out Like I said, always put the springs out. And then, if you want to, don't want to get your hands cold, you can take these off. What I'll do is stick, go ahead and stick your stick through the one side of your spring and then ease it down. I hope you don't hit nothing on the way down. I hope you don't hit anything on the way down. Okay, go ahead and put one of them back on. Right, one of them back on. <laughs> Just to be safe. We don't know what's down here yet. No lure, no anything. Just set them right in front of their holes and wait for them to swing by. Make sure they're good and staked. I usually like to, I don't have any like baling wire, but I'll usually take baling wire and run it up around a tree or a stake, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna get these sticks in there as far as we can, and they won't go far if they bust the sticks out. It might come back over here this evening and check them again. All right guys, so me and Fred are back at the uh, pond here, and I'm guessing these beaver are conna bear shy. I don't know, because we sat right in their huts couple of the runs and we didn't have anything but if you can see this flip this around got super got super fresh truins right over there and right over there so we're gonna use around that side and see what we can see because his hut slash feed lodge right here is not producing even though we've seen them come out every day we set these traps so we go there and see what we can come up with all right guys day three of our conna bears being out for these beaver in this pond and we finally connected on at least two haven't checked the other side but <clears throat> for sure got two here so i'll show you what we got here in a second when i get up here all right guys so I left my damn setters and the camera in the car and sure shit we got two beaver so I'm gonna let Fred do the dirty work and get these bad boys out these are here three days before we caught anything huh, he's a big dog <laughs> one, one. probably 40 pounds yep side and get the other one. Make a little more funner. Little guy. He was coming out. Oh, yep. Yeah, he was coming Not too shabby. And a little kit. So I'd say a, a mature beaver and then a, a baby. But Fred wants to eat some of this. They're going to eat the same. And I'm going to use it for bobcat bait. So we're going to reset these and see what happens.